All right, Jamie, part two. Let's go over just the chords of the solo section. We have here B minor. Our first finger is barred across the second fret, A and everything higher. Our third finger is put on the fourth fret of D. Our fourth finger tucks underneath that, and our second finger goes on the third fret of the B string. Into A, into G, into D. B minor, A, G, D. Now this goes twice before it goes to another section of uh, the solo. So we have there is a very important part of the song because again we're dealing with barred chords and we're dealing with open chords as well. I'm going to vamp on that one for a little bit. Vamping means to just keep going over that one part over and over and join me with it. We're going to plow through and work this one out together. Uh, if you get this section really well I'm sure the other sections are going to fall right in place. Great. Three. There's a quite quite a bit of um, uh, changes in the song, uh, rhythmic changes, chord changes as well. So these two parts, part one with its points of interest and part two now, if you get both of these down well, the rest of the song will fall into place. Uh, what we'll do next time is, is review the entire song and play the entire song from uh, beginning to end. And if you get these two parts down, part one and part two, um, you have my guarantee that everything else is going to fall right into place. All right, Jamie, we'll see you uh, next week. And of course, call or email if you have any